What is up guys and welcome back, Pneumatics here of course, and welcome back to another episode of Space Tech Times. Today, I want to go ahead and upgrade a lot of the things I have in my inventory, like my bag, my furnaces, in my little setup in my house down there. So let's go ahead and get you guys right into what you came here for. Alright, so first things first, I really, really need to upgrade my basic backpack. It is Horrible does not carry enough at all if I go into the inventory. It only gives me a certain amount of slots I would like to upgrade that to have a lot more So we have a couple different options We have the iron backpack and we have the gold and the diamond unfortunately It's like ridiculous trying to find diamond like literally all of this junk and five diamond. That's it only five Yeah, it's ridiculous <laughs> So we're gonna go have to deal with probably gold as the maximum for this point in our adventure let's go ahead and upgrade that so i'm going to go ahead and jump into this and it looks like it's pretty easy just some iron with the backpack we have and a chest let's see what it is for gold same thing just throw the iron backpack in in the middle instead and what's this blank upgrade we're gonna to have to look in to see what that does after we get the first upgrade done okay i went to gather materials and i just realized i literally have no wood i need to go cut down some trees and if you guys didn't notice in my inventory i made an item without it being shown on camera it is called the wub hammer it mines out a three by three area that's insane it's from tiny progressions first time i've ever used this mod before and the first time i found this out so pretty nice the bad thing compared to the drill though because like the drill we can go ahead and make a 3x3 upgrade for the augment on it. The one thing the drill does that this does not is it will do dirt and gravel. This one does not. And, I mean, come on. The other benefit is that the drill never breaks. These do. So, yeah. <laughs> and the wub ore you can only get if you have a diamond or this emerald pickaxe, which I got from Actually Editions. So, not bad, not bad. But you know what? The web gem actually has an amazing durability. So, we're going to grab three of those and then we're going to go ahead and smelt that down into web ingots. Also, the cool, other cool thing I think we can do with the web gem is make it into juice, which has a temperature of 300K. I don't know if that could be used to smelt things down. We might give that a test. We might test that out in a little bit. And all right, since that's all done, let's go ahead and throw some of these in here. Let's throw that. Oh, not that. This in there. And there we go. We got a wub axe. <laughs> so cool. I wonder how useful some of the other things from Tinker's Construct are going to work when I have already some really cool items at my disposal. But anyways, let's go ahead and go find some trees to cut down. And then we can continue with what we're doing. So the other thing I want to do is definitely get some of the cool furnaces. I thought I had a mod called more furnaces, but I guess I don't. So we're going to have to rely on some of the furnaces that come within the other mods, which I'm actually pretty excited to try out. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. What kind of tree was that? I didn't even... Oh, it's oak tree. Oak tree. Okay. And what is this? From forestry. Do I want to cut that down or I want to look for just more oak trees? I think we're going to do that. But anyways. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, the little jetpack on the back I'm wearing as a chest plate. Yes, and we are going to be upgrading this, of course. If you want to know how I even made this, be sure to check out the episode number two. That is where we made the jetpack. It was a lot of fun. It took up a lot of material, and I did realize that there's actually... Oh, that was it for that. There's actually other types of jetpacks. Now, there's one from Mechanism, but it uses hydrogen. Kind of like the jetpack from actually, not Expeditions, which one is that? The space mod we have in here. Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. But anyways, it's the one space mod we have in here. It has a jetpack that runs off hydrogen as well. And I'm kind of interested in making the one from Mechanism to see how that one runs compared to the one from the space mod we have. You know what's funny, guys? I never noticed that this was NDV's house. <laughs> he took over the Tinker's Construct house from one of the villagers. I never noticed that. I'm going to snoop. I'm going to snoop. I don't think he's not on. No, I'm the only one on. Okay. Yeah, let's go in here and see what he's what he's been up to, Mr. NDV. He's got a couple things going on over there. What? He's got some bees? What has he got bees for? Where did he get those from? And then he's got a cool little coffee maker. He's got coal generators, but it doesn't look like he's making anything with the coal generators. I'm going to go up here and see. Okay, okay, okay. So it looks like he hasn't done much up here. All right. I think I think we're kind of ahead of the game when it comes to 
most people on the server. Maybe, maybe not Selena. Selena's been doing some real good work. All right. Anyways, we are back. Let's go ahead and throw some of this in here. Now that we got that done, let's go ahead and make a chest out of it like we needed to. And there we go. Simple enough. We could go ahead and make our iron backpack. Now, let's see what it can hold now. Holy cow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. A whole lot more room that we got there. Now, I want to see what this is. I Oh, it upgrades to 12 slots. That's what it is. Okay, okay. Do we need to do that right now? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think what we can do is upgrade it to the gold backpack. And then we'll do this upgrade to get us the blank upgrade to make us a 17 slot backpack. Yeah, let's do that real quick. So let's go go ahead here. Let's grab that gold out. Let's go over here. And then what do we need? We need another chest. So let's make one of those. And then we could go ahead and go over here. Boom. Boom. Yeah, check it out. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much room now. It's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> we are basically carrying a chest on us. That is insane. That is insane. Okay, so what do we need to make that blank upgrade? Looks pretty simple enough. Some string, a stick, and paper. Oh no, I'm gonna have to grab some sugar cane, aren't I? Do I have any sugar cane? I have a little bit. I might have enough. I might have enough to make this, guys. Okay, let's go and put this in here. Three paper? How much did I need initially? Four. Really? Really? At least I had enough. There we go. Now let's go ahead and see what else. We need the string. And we already got a stick, so I don't think we have any problems there. Oh, sweet! Awesome, we can make it right away. Cool. Boom. Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, no, we did! We did need to have that! Oh, no, that means we need to go get some more sugar cane. Oh, my gosh, no! Oh, we have to... Oh, I should have done this first and then do this. Oh, well, no big deal. Let's go grab some more sugar cane. And then we'll deal with the rest of this later. It's a good thing that there's tons of sugarcane over here. I think I'm going to have to throw my thrusters on hover so I don't accidentally fall to my death. All right, guys, as soon as I was about to hit that sugarcane, it crashed the game. So note to self, don't use the wub hammer against sugarcane. It makes bad things happen. <laughs> All right, anyways, the sword has no issue. So let's go ahead and just break down a bunch of this sugarcane. And let's get back to what we were doing. Selena has gotten on the server as of late, which is awesome. I wonder where she actually has her base. All right, guys, while I was out exploring, I ended up coming across Selena's house. Look at this build. This actually looks really, really good. We just had a little bit of converse, a conversation about the jetpack I have. And I went ahead and gave her a backpack that I messed up on. So I gave her the iron backpack. And I'm going to go have to find some more wool to go ahead and create what we are going to create, which is a gold backpack tier 3 with 17 slots. So that we can continue on with the other upgrades I have in mind. But man, that is awesome. Really cool. Alright guys, so I went ahead and gathered the, all the materials I needed, I think to get what I wanted to get to make this gold jet, this gold backpack. I'm going to continuously mess up backpack and jetpack probably. <laughs> All right, we got that. And now I think I just need to make another blank thing. And then we could go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, 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 let's try this. And boom, done. All right, let's see this one. All right, and then let's see this one. Does it have the same amount? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right. Let's do this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What? 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, wait, wait. So this one, 12 upgrade points used. 17 upgrade points used. Tier 3, storage emphasis, upgrade emphasis. Oh. Oh. So what does that mean? Crafting upgrade emphasis. I have no idea what that means, but it looks like I kind of wasted my time. So I'm a little upset about that. Oh, well, I guess you win some, you lose some. I'm going to go and throw that garbage in there. And then I'm going to continue using this one. And then I think we could go ahead and continue on to the next upgrade, which is going to be for one of the furnaces. All right. So when I go ahead and type in furnace, there's a couple different options we have. We have the option from tiny progressions. We have Tinker's Construct, and we have Industrial Foregoing. 
Foregoing, I have messed with before. And then simple powered furnace. Oh, this is from Ender IO. If I want to go ahead and have a powered furnace with RF instead of having a coal powered furnace. But that's kind of counterproductive. I do want to see what this one's about. All right, it acts like a normal furnace, but it can burn up to three items at a time. It will produce a bit of essence each time item is smelted. No idea what essence is, so let's go and check out kind of regressions. All right, this looks a lot easier to make than this guy. So let's go ahead and do this upgrade. Four furnaces and some iron. And let's see if how better how much better that one is compared to the regular old furnace. So I went ahead and gathered materials real quick. Let's go ahead and make one of these. And let's see. I'm going to just throw it right there for now. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. So I don't think there's much difference with this. So like if I wanted to go ahead and smelt down one thing, it would just accumulate in here. And then wait a second. Let's see what it actually does. I'm going to go and grab some of the tin just for fun. Because we have so much of the tin. Oh, wait a second. That's that's just nonsense. What am I trying to do here? All right, let's throw that in there. And this in here. Okay, it seems like it's a bit faster. Yep, I would say it's a bit faster. Let's, let's test this theory out. Let's go and grab some more tin. And let's throw some in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see how slow that is? Compared to this one? This one seems like it's going by a whole lot faster than that one awesome well i think that's a pretty good upgrade and i like the animations coming off of it i don't know if the mechanism one or was it mechanism i don't think so industrial foregoing i don't know how okay it looks like it uses ender io stuff to be created and some plastic dry rubber how do you make dry rubber tiny dry rubber latex Processing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way too much for what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Powered furnace. Previously double furnace. Okay. Okay. So this is from Actually Editions. And it looks like it's a double furnace. And it's going to be powered by energy instead, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just go ahead and deal with this one. Simple enough. A little bit of coal. Some tin or whatever ore I'm trying to smelt down and four different areas and it goes a bit faster than the regular furnace i think i'm going to make another one of those and that'll be set for that upgrade since we got that upgrade done with the furnaces and we got the upgrade done for our backpack the last thing i want to do is get the upgrade done for the drill this three by three augment i finally found enough diamond to make this happen so let's get it done let's grab four of these and then put that back in there and then we need four or five Five of these i'm just going to grab a bunch i don't remember if i made any enerite crystals i don't think i did so i could go ahead and break that grab that go over here and let's throw all of this junk in front of the atomic reconstructor throw those first all right got those and then let's throw the iron in front of that and that should give us what we need oops no 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 oh my gosh i'm so glad that didn't fall in the lava <laughs> all right let's go and put this back here and let's see, I think, okay, basic coil, some black quartz, and the Restonian crystals. Okay, black quartz, boom, boom. Let's go make that real quick. And then throw that in here. All right, we should have enough. Let's go and do this. And then where's, oh, right, right here. Duh. Yes, finally, 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 we have our three by three augment awesome 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 um i don't want to test this out up here wait what other augments can i make another augment i could i could make the other speed augment do i want to do that i think i do the drill okay fortune's gonna be too much silk touch is gonna be too much so the only other thing we could do before upgrading to the next tier of actually editions is the speed two augment so why not let's make this so I went ahead and went and got some milk from cows that Selena has over there. I wonder if she's going to take those cows with her with her new base. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I should ask what she's going to do about that. Oh, my gosh. I forgot the wait. I forgot the wait. Yeah, we got plenty enough. Okay, let's go and make this cake real quick. And then we should be able to make this augment right after. And I'll go and show you guys how it actually works with the speed and all that fun stuff. So let's go in here. Go to cake. Boom. Boom. Done. Cake made nice okay so i went ahead and made some more nri crystals real quick before doing this part 
so that you guys you already know how to make these so it's not a big deal all right there we go drill augment speed numero dos or il e e e if we say in korean <laughs> all right cool let's go and put this in here break that down and i'm going to jump down to where i've been mining out to show you guys this thing in action all right guys now that we're down here some crazy stuff going on oh and i got something big to show you guys soon but that i think i'm going to save for the next episode until then let's go ahead and show off this speed augment okay hold on ready oh yeah let me go ahead and turn off the particles because that's going to lag a bit but look at that look at how fast this is three by three areas not even a problem. I mean, look, 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 look. Dirt. It's even faster on dirt, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. This is going to be a game changer. But, all right, guys. So, I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits. I think we did enough for this episode. We got our backpack upgraded. We got our furnaces upgraded. And we got a couple augments put into our drill. That is a good stopping point, and I loved every second of it. If you did enjoy it as well, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get content like this every week, and I will see you guys in the next episode.